let me say this, and I don't give a fuck who gets mad. This video that I did uh, 10 days ago attached to this comment clearly is a class of men and women really not ready to talk about this. But peep this. See that number up there? In 10 days, there are almost 600 comments of women who have gone through this. Let's look at some, shall we, since y'all think women be lying. This was my marriage. Got into a heated argument because I had COVID and asked him to do the grocery shopping. Baby, tell me about it. Now the husband wants to know why the kids don't don't talk to them and they feel left out. I barely talked to my father and he is flabbergasted. Simply cannot understand because he was technically there. Fact, I'm on my way to, to divorce now because I realized that I was doing so much without him and we were married. Right, I was sing I was single as fuck, and my and my daughter and I lived in that five bedroom house by ourselves. We never saw him. He came, got showered, and dressed, and left. Oh, it's more, honey. I tried to miss my ex husband after I left. One day I tried to cry about it, but I couldn't think of anything he did to miss. When I had two kids, I might as well stay. When I married my second husband, I had two kids. I might as well stay a single mother. Let me say this. I know that some of y'all men find it so hard to believe some of the things that we tell y'all, some of the things that we have experienced. Listen, I have one child. I had a C-section. I didn't plan on going in for C-section. I was just going in for a normal delivery. But something happened after over 10 hours of, 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 of labor. Something happened, and I had to go in for emergency C-section. After the C-section... But anyway, let me cut it short. After I had my baby, everything was fine. And, you know, after, after a few days, I was home, right? I left. The, I came I came home because, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been discharged from the hospital. A few days. Please, men, hear me out. A few days after having a delivery, a C-section, I've been cut open. And I have been sold. They sold me like you are sewing clothes. They cut me open and sold me like you are sewing clothes. I'm laying down in bed. I can't even walk straight. I walk like an old woman. I can't walk straight. I asked my partner. My partner, the person I was with. I said, baby, can you fry me two eggs and make me a hot chocolate? This will not take 10 minutes. That's what I asked. And this man looked me in the face and said, well, I'm going to work. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I got to go. I got to go. After delivering his child, I'm wearing bloody pads. I'm still bleeding. Right? Some women that go through vaginal, they bleed. I'm laying here, can't walk. I cannot walk. And I ask 10 minutes of my partner's time. I got so angry and I couldn't even speak because of my C-section, my, my surgery. So I was like, I was able to manage and I said, you know what, forget it, go. I will manage and go to the kitchen and make my own breakfast. When I got angry, that's when he said, oh, forget, forget it, I'm going to go make it for you. When I was married, I was single. I was doing everything by myself. Every relationship I have been in, I have been single. But yes, every night there's a man laying next to me in bed. So when we talk, we are not lying, man. Your, your fellow men are not doing right by us. They're not doing right by us. Why should I feel single when I have a man next to me? Why should I be paying all the bills by myself when I have a man next to me? Why should I beg a man that, that, that impregnated me? Why do I need to beg him to make me a cup of fucking hot chocolate? And if I say that I'm done with men, I don't want to be with men, society will say I'm going to hell because I don't, I, because I don't want to be with this power type. This, these things we call human being. Society will, will come for me. Do you know who was there for me when I had my child? It was a woman. 
my own ex, my ex cousin, will cook and and bring me a plate. My auntie will go to work. She works six days a week. She will work the last day that she had off the, the 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 days that she had off, which is the one day she has off. She will cook and bring me food for the whole week. So right now, if I say I don't want to be with any man again, society will get mad at me. If I was your sister, if I was your daughter, if I was your niece, hear my story and tell me if I am wrong for not wanting to, wanting to have anything to do with any man again. Please just tell me. Women are suffering. Why? We are human beings like you people. We bleed like you people. Thank you for watching. And if you're going through this, I pray that you get the strength and the courage to walk away. Because it's easier to be a single mother of three than be a single mother of four. When you know you have a grown man with hairy ass and hairy balls. Nobody's saying being a single mother is easy. It's not. But to... Have a grown man lay next to you and not do anything. To have a grown man next to you, that is, it is it, a grown man stuck in a little boy's body. You might as well just take care of your children and leave this grown man alone. At least your children will not bring you STDs. At least your children, they will not cheat on you. At least your children will not give you diseases. Hmm? If you come from work and you are tired and you don't want to cook, you can order something outside and eat with your, with your children. You don't have to sleep with your children. So you, you, you get some peace of mind. You can feel free to disagree with me. But this is real. And I know some of young men don't want to accept it. Y'all don't see other men. Y'all don't see other men to be emasculate monsters like us women do. Yeah, I don't see them. And even as a woman, when I see some of the things that my women do, I put them on blast. But men do not want to hold other men accountable. And that's why these women are saying they will choose a bear over a man. Thank you for watching.